My name is Mesa, and I'm going to present my science fair project named Hungry Yeast. I like baking bread. Sometimes I make bread with yeast. Yeast is a kind of fungus that lives in that, that lives on the skin of many fruits. I want to know the best condition for yeast to rise. My hypothesis is that the yeast it will grow the best and produce the most gas in warm water. Boil some water in a kettle and then leave it to cool. Label four glass jars, W for warm, C for, for cool, H for hot, and D for dry. Next, put one teaspoon of yeast and sugar into each jar. Put 140 milliliters of cool water into three jars. Do not put water into the jar labeled D. Mix the yeast solution gently, then cover the jar with plastic wrap and seal them with zip tie. Place the jar C in a glass bowl and and fill in Fill the bowl with ice. Place jar H in a glass bowl filled with very hot water. Leave the leave the W jar in a warm place. Check the jars after an hour. An hour I observed the following. The jar that was placed in a warm place, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, had very active yeast that produced gas and and made the, the plastic wrap on the jar bubble. The jar in the cold temperature did not have any Visible active yeast. However, the, there was a little frost at the bottom over the yeast. The jar in the hot temperature, 120 degrees Fahrenheit, was very cloudy with some active yeast, but the yeast did not produce enough gas to make the plastic wrap rise. The dry yeast had not had. From this experiment, I can see that yeast doesn't rise well in very cold or hot temperatures. The best temperature for yeast is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius, which is warm. These findings support my hypothesis because the yeast in the warm temperature produce the most gas. How now I can now I know that if I want to make good bread, I need to grow my yeast in warm water.